Greetings and salutations, my brothers and sisters, and welcome back to the record room. And this will be part two of my It Came From Memphis video because uh, I bought a lot of records in Memphis, essentially. I bought over 30 records. And on last week's episode, I showed you some of the used records I bought. And on this week, I thought I'd, uh, I'd show you some of the new records I bought. Now, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna show everything I bought because the video would be too long, but needless to say, I picked up a lot of cool stuff in Memphis. And since I've been back, I've also picked up some cool stuff as well. So uh, I'm sure those will be coming up on a future episode, but I thought I'd highlight some of the picks uh, that I grabbed some things I'm familiar with, some things I'm not, but you know me, I will take a chance if something looks cool. And you know, when it comes to looking cool, I could not leave this record sitting on the shelf. I found this in Gonna Records. The band is called Total Hell. So straight away I'm on board. Uh, and the album is called Killed by Evil. So Straight away, when I walked into the shop, this was literally the first thing I saw when I walked in. And I thought, okay, so they 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 know I'm coming. Uh, you've got like a demon ghoul here. Um, I don't know if he's eating an image of Christ or what, but it's not good. And then we've got uh, three sixes up here in the total hell. We've got a pentagram. Um, just everything about this cover says, yes, Tony. You will enjoy this. Please, please buy this record. And I just haven't been disappointed. I, I list this was one of the first albums of the, the new bunch that I bought. It's brilliant. It's really, really good. It's like, uh, it's not black metal. It's more thrashy punk uh, with a kind of a black metal uh, satanic edge to it. Fantastic. Uh, Henry Hell on bass and vocals. Michael Maniac on lead guitar. Dee Dee Death on drums and vocals, and Panzer on guitar noise, recorded September 2023 at House of 1000 Hertz by Goat. I, I mean, this album, I, I don't know if you can stream this, and I'm, I'm sure you probably can, but we've got side 666 uh, with the tracks Killed by Evil, Satanic Fist, Banished to the Tombs, Demonized, and Nuclear Satanic Warfare. Side 999, Turn the Cross, Forgotten Son of Darkness, Unholy Liar, and Blood Sacrifice. <laughs> I just, I cannot get enough of records like this. And again, I hadn't heard a note of this before I walked into the shop. And instantly, yep, that's for me. And that's one of the things I used to love about going into record stores, was seeing a record, looking at its cover and thinking, that's made for me. Uh, it does come in a paper in a sleeve, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to feel too bad about it. I will just replace that. And it's a big, thick slab of black wax. There you go. Nice satanic pentagram on the label there. And yeah, it's fast. It's heavy. It's punky. It's, it's a great time is what total hell actually is. Uh, I, I don't know if this is available in the UK or, or wh whatever country you're watching this in, but I really, really enjoyed this record. Um, I will definitely be checking out the band a bit more because it's just, it's one of those records I throw on, I'm like just grinning to myself because it's so fun. And speaking of fun records, this is an album I've known for years, but have never owned. And I've toyed with buying an original, but Honestly, I don't know how many times I'm going to listen to it. So when I saw a repress, a very, very reasonable price, $22.99, I thought, you know what? I'm going to grab me that copy of Thor, <laughs> Keep the Dogs Away. <laughs> it's about time I own this awesome heavy metal power slab. It just, it just is. It's time. It's time. You are like straws against the wind. <sighs> we all know the legend of Thor. I'm sure we do. And if you don't, there's a brilliant documentary uh, about Thor that you can watch. 1977, this one originally came out. And uh, 2016, Deadline Music. So bear with me a second. 
Apologies for the cut there. I actually had to go and answer the door because more records have just arrived into the record room. They will be on a future episode. But Thor, keep the dogs away. I haven't actually opened this one yet, so I'm going to bust this one open live on uh, live live to me. But when you're watching this. And some people, you know, when they open records, they use a, a plectrum or a credit card. I use a craft knife. And all I would say is if you're using a knife, be careful. You know, it's it's not hard. It's easy to damage, but it's also very easy to um, cut. And one of the things I like to do is as I'm going along is slightly opening the sleeve itself. So the, the shrink almost just pops itself open, but then you get a, a nice... That's even split. So let's take a look at this, keep the dogs away. This is, as I said, this is a, I don't know when this one was repressed. Is it 2016? If so, it's been sitting around in the bins for a while. Wow, that's an angry dog. That's an angry dog. So I'm familiar with the songs on this. I do have a bit of a spot for Rosie, but let's have a look at the disc. It's a very, very thick inner sleeve as well. This is not, I wouldn't say this is a, a cheap package by any uh, stretch of the imagination and only 22, $22.99. I didn't think it was too bad. And there we go. Nice, big, thick slab of black wax. Thor, keep the dogs away. And obviously, as I've just opened this, you know that I haven't listened to this copy of the record yet, so I can't talk about the pressing. I'll give this one a, uh, a clean, and if there's anything to report back, I will do so on a future episode. But again, this is an album I've, I've wanted for a while, toyed with, and when I saw it there, I was like, you know what? It's time for that album to join the rest of my collection. And while I was in Ghana Records, there were two stores I visited, as I mentioned on the last episode, Ghana and Shangri-La. I believe both of those came from Ghana, and this next one, this one came from Shangri-La. Uh, and this is an album that I didn't know, uh, I didn't know it was available, or I didn't know it was going to be possible to pick up because it was a Black Friday release from uh, last Black Friday. So, for, it was Black Friday, yeah, 2023, last Black Friday. And for some reason, we don't get uh, a wealth of jazz dispensary titles over here. And I love every jazz dispensary title I have managed to get my hands on. There have been a few that have kind of trickled over. I have absolutely adored. And when I saw this one, I immediately jumped on it. This is Jazz Dispensary at the Movies. Now, this was a $29.99 release, but then that's totally fine with me. It was a record store day release, so it's bound to be a little bit more expensive. But what this is, uh, and I'll read the hype sticker so you can grab, um, so you can get more of an idea. It's uh, 10 tracks. Some of them I already know, but some of them I'm just, oh, I haven't heard that. I bet that is absolutely amazing. So Jazz Dispensary at the movies. Sticky fingers, smoky air, it's time to go on a munchy trip. The crate diggers of Jazz Dispensary have been set loose on an archive of classic midnight movies, and they've brought back a treasure trove of jams with them. Lay back on the crouch, grab a giant tub of popcorn and surrender to a marathon of grooves from Melvin Van Peebles, Isaac Hayes, Booker T and the MGs and many more who grace the silver screen with irresistibly funky melodies. We'll see you at the movies. And this is pressed on purple haze vinyl. So essentially what this is, is like jazz funk soul from, you know, back in the day, I'm gonna say probably mostly 70s, all pressed on one record. Uh, tracking down some of these tracks would be nigh on impossible, but I mean, that insert just gives it away straight away there. Oh, so cool. Sweet, sweet backs, badass song. What a great song that is. I know that one. Uh, there are some of these I don't know, but that one is so good. The Dynamite Brothers. I mean, the picture, the images on here just make me want to watch all of these films. Truck Turner. There was a, a record store I used to go to, and I, or my dad used to go to when I was a kid, and they had a Truck Turner poster on the wall, and I was always like, who is that guy? He just looks so cool. And it was Isaac Hayes with a shotgun. Uh, Pursuit of the Pimpmobile. 
I've never heard that, but I can already tell you. It's gonna be great. As I mentioned, this one is pressed on. Ooh, ooh, purple Hey, Look at that. That's very cool. This looks like a trans, um, Trans purple disc with uh, some, what have we got here? We've got some black, we've got some white, we've got some blue. This is a very, very pretty looking disc. And if the other jazz dispensary titles are anything to go by, this one is going to sound superb. All the jazz dispensary titles, I believe I have. Um, I have a couple from last record store day, maybe one or two from their, their general catalog. Uh, most of them have been on color vinyl, but they all sound really, really good, which, um, which I'm happy about. Uh, and rounding out this episode is an, is a, is another record store day title. This isn't a release from record store day. It's a record store day essential title. And for those that don't know what that is, it's the record store day brand and they have licensed a bunch of titles to sell through independent record stores pressed on exclusive colors. So what I have here is a copy of the Misfits Seminal Earth AD uh, backed with Wolf's Blood. And this is essentially kind of two EPs put together on an album, but this has been released through the RSD Essential series on purple swirl vinyl. Be interested to see if this one is different from the purple haze. I didn't realize they were both purple. And again, this one cost me $32.99, a little bit more expensive because it is an RSD title, but I do already own this. I have a black vinyl copy of this and I've had it for probably close to 20 years. I'm not entirely sure. It's definitely not an original. Definitely, definitely not an original. I'm not even entirely sure if it's an legit pressing, it could be a bootleg. I'm really, really not sure. I think it is legit. It was pressed back in the 90s when there was uh, less quality control, uh, shall we say. But it, it sounds pretty good. But I was intrigued by um, this version to see how this one sounds. I mean, this one, this one is a, a full on reissue, legit real deal. So I was interested to see if this one sounded any different from the one I have. And to be honest, you know, I am a big Misfits fan. I'm a big Misfits collector. So buying, owning, collecting multiple pressings. I mean, it's not outside of the realm of things that I do. It's not, but I do only own two copies of this record. It's not like I have like 30 of them. Um, in fact, I don't own 30 of any record. Uh, I don't think, um, but let's take a look right here. Does it come with, oh, it does. It comes in a polyline sleeve, which is very, very nice to see. And it's cut at 45 RPM, which is very cool as well. I can't remember if the, the one I have is cut at 45. I don't think it is. Um, let's have a look. Oh, no, it's a different color vinyl. So this is a transparent purple. Um, there you go. Earth AD on that side, Wolf's Blood on that side. And I really like this latter Misfit stuff. This is more hardcore than punk to me. It's a little bit heavier, uh, which I kind of like. I mean, Metallica covered the uh, song Green Hell. I believe Cradle of Filth have covered Death Comes Ripping. Um, I mean, everyone and their friend has covered a Misfit song uh, in their time but they're just an absolutely unforgettable band and have left such a legacy. Would love for them to come to the UK so I can see them on this, uh, not well, just reformation tour. You know, I don't know if they ever will make it over here, but I would love, love to see that. This was released in the UK, but unfortunately it was released in very, very limited quantities. I didn't manage to grab a copy. Uh, I missed out on it when it did hit stores in the UK. So I was glad to finally pick one of these up while I was in the US. But that's it for this week, guys. That's it, I almost forgot what I was about to say then. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And once again, thank you to our new subscribers. Remember liking, commenting, subscribing. It all helps the channel to grow. And if you would like to see more records, more uh, genres, let me know. Just let me know. I'm sure there is something in the collection 
that I can share with you. I think on the next episode, I might show you some nice uh, tasty originals or, or early pressings that I picked up recently. Cause uh, yeah, my eyes are always open. I am always on the hunt. I really, really am. But until next time, stay gold and remember to spin those blackest circles.